Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Let's continue our previous theorem in which we wanted to prove this isomorphism between the internal direct product and the external direct product. Right? So we already have proved that edge from different edge they commute with each other. Right? This thing we have established and we have also claimed that each member of G can be expressed uniquely in this form. Right? Now, uh, for in order to prove isomorphism, we have already defined a mapping phi from this internal direct product to the external direct product such that it is defined like this phi of h1, h2 up to hn is equal to this n tuple. Right? Now, in order to prove that phi is isomorphism, we first of all have to show that it is well defined. Then we'll be proving it is 1, 1. Then it, we will be proving it is on 2. And then it is operation preserving. Right? These four points we have to prove in order to prove that it is what? It is isomorphism. So let's proceed on to well, well defined. Well defined and 1, 1, they have, uh, uh, they have, uh, the things similar to proof, however, the order is different. So here in well-defined, we assume that the input is the same for two different things. So we assume that the domain, we took two domain elements. One is h1, h2 up to hn. Another one is h1 dash, h2 dash up to hn dash. Right? We assume this thing and we have to prove that their images, they are equal to each other. And in 1-1, one, one we do the opposite. We take the images as equal to each other and we prove that the domain elements are equal to each other. Right? So let's first of all discuss the well-defined case. Here we assume the domain elements to be equal to each other. And then by the above argument, because if these two elements are uh, equal to each other, then once uh, we were showing this uh, uniqueness, we proved these two elements to be equal and we have proved that uh, each h i is equal to h i dash right for i varying from 1 to n so all of them they are equal to each other hence this uh, expression is unique in nature hence from uh, that uh, argument we can say that h1 is equal to h1 dash h2 is equal to h2 dash and so on up to hn is equal to hn dash right so from here because all of them they are equal hence this tuple would also be equal to each other and what is this n tuple it is the image of this element h1 h2 up to hn so and this is what we wanted to prove here in order to prove that phi is well defined hence phi is well defined in this particular case in the next one, we wanted to prove phi is 1, 1. So we assume that uh, the images as equal to each other. Now by the definition of phi, you see what is phi of h1, h2 up to hn. It is this n tuple. So you can write it like uh, this h1, h2 up to hn. And what is the image of phi h1 dash h2 dash up to hn dash? It is h1 dash h2 dash up to hn dash, right? Now, when, when do you call two tuples as equal? Whenever the first element is equal to the first element, the second element is equal to the second element, and this last element is equal to the last element, right? So each element is equal to the uh, same uh, element present on the right hand side. Hence, you have h1 is equal to h1 dash, h2 is equal to h2 dash and up to hn is equal to hn dash. So from here, you clearly see that, that this product h1, h2 up to hn could be written as h1 dash, h2 dash up to hn dash. And this is what we wanted to prove here that the domain elements are also equal to each other in this case. Hence, phi is 1, 1. Correct? because we took the arbitrary elements. Now, in order to prove that phi is on to, it is very simple. It is quite obvious that whenever you take some element, this n tuple from this external direct product, then for it, obviously you will find some element here in this internal direct product such that you have phi of this h1, h2 up to hn is equal to this n tuple, right? Hence, phi is on to. This is quite obvious. And in order to prove that phi is operation preserving, we have to prove that phi of uh, these two elements h1, h2 up to hn into h1 dash, h2 dash up to hn dash. This is equal to phi of h1, h2 uh, up to hn uh, into phi of h1 dash, h2 dash up to hn dash. So here what we do, we take this left hand side first, right? Now you can multiply the elements together. So because you know all the, uh, the h from different subgroups, capital H, they commute with each other. Hence, these elements would also commute. 
Hence, you can write it, them like this h1, h1 dash, h2, h2 dash, and so on up to hn, hn dash, right? Now, you can apply the definition of phi. You can club up these two elements in one bracket, these in another bracket, and so on, these in another bracket. Then uh, it would give you n tuple of this kind where the first two elements are the first element, the sec uh, third and fourth element are the second element, and so on. The last two elements are uh, the last element. Hence, uh, now, if you remember the external direct product and uh, there the calculations are performed in this manner that if you have uh, fng and uh, hni say and you are multiplying them so it would be fh and gi right so now you have this product you can write it like this so here we have this product we can write the first element here and the first element here first element uh, in the first one second in the second one and so on so we can separate out the elements because when you multiply them you will get back the same thing and what is this this is the definition of phi of h1 h2 up to hn and what is this this is the definition of phi of h1 dash h2 dash up to hn dash and this what is this this is your right hand side which you wanted to prove hence in this case phi is operation preserving now if phi is uh, all well defined 1 1 1 2 that is bijective and is operation preserving hence it is an isomorphism and it was a mapping which was defined from the internal direct product to the external direct product hence the internal direct product is isomorphic to the external direct product and this is what we wanted to prove here in this particular case so i hope you understood uh, this theorem well well that is it for this video thank you for watching